and welcome to the Taskmaster podcast. Ed Gamble here. You know what this is by now. We talk about Taskmaster episode by episode, task by task, point by point. And today we are talking about Taskmaster series four, episode seven, and our special guest this week. It's a returning special guest. It's the wonderful Margaret Caborn Smith, actor, comedian, podcaster. She does so much stuff. Uh, she's been on this podcast before. She was so good. We have invited her back. She's never been on Taskmaster. She knows loads about Taskmaster and loves Taskmaster. So you're in for a treat. Can't wait to talk to Margaret about Series 4, Episode 7. Hopefully you've watched it recently and you'll know what we're talking about. Although it's such a banging episode, I think a lot of these you will just remember distinctly anyway because it's it's a really, really strong episode as we found when we were talking about it. Um, so hope you enjoy it. Uh, hope you're still watching Taskmaster over there on all four uh, and I will have a quick chat to you afterwards. But for now, here is Taskmaster Podcast. We are chatting Series 4, Episode 7, with Margaret K. Bondsmith. <music> Welcome back to the Taskmaster Podcast, Margaret. Ah, oh, how delightful to be here. I was just listening to the Phil Wang episode and ah, yes. my... Philly Philly my, Wang Wang, refer, refer to him by his full sorry, title. Sorry, Philly Philly Wang Wang, which means that my name is Margarety Margarety Caborn Smith Caborn Smith, <laughs> which is super cool, isn't it? It, it really is makes really my good, name actually. even cooler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your Netflix special is going to be quite hard to find, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> For, yeah, forget it, forget it. Bit of a not mouthful. Because it, not because it doesn't exist, because of that. <laughs> Having to announce yourself as, uh, announce yourself on stage. Welcome to... Oh, Margaret. Oh, Margaret. <laughs> okay, well, <that's> it. <laughs> um, we knew we had to have you back, Margaret, because you were so good the first time uh, oh. we had you on. A true and, dedicated And I kept TM hassling fan. you, yeah. Yes, of course, there were all the letters, etc., <laughs> and uh, standing outside my house, I saw you. <laughs> Uh, but, it's locked down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what else? You're doing your hours exercise, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. still a thing. Walking to wherever yeah. you live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, last time you were on, we were talking about series 11, the most uh, up-to-date recent series. Yeah. Um, but this is one of our historic episodes. We have uh, <laughs> dived into the annals of time. Uh, yeah. What's an annal? Oh, God, that's the hardest question Is it like an annual? ask me. It's, it's, I've always, yeah, well, it's between annual and anal, isn't it? That's the, There we uh, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever it's it is, that. it's an anal annual. Annual, annual. An anal, an anal. <laughs> there you go. We don't need to question that even, ever yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, done. Yeah, That's exactly. fact. But we're talking about series four, specifically series four, episode seven. Um, but obviously you've seen all of Taskmaster. I'm assuming yeah. you're a... Oh, uh, yeah. More are you a particular fan of series four? Yes. I mean... I know a, few, a couple of people have said that it's their favourite series. It's definitely one that when I was rewatching it, I was like, I mean, this is, you know, all killer, no filler. This is yeah. so good. It's, I actually think it's the, I would say the loser of the group, Hugh Dennis, is, mm -hmm. the, is the most alpha, highest status loser yeah. ever. Like, I think he's, he's genuinely really good at quite a lot of things. Like, he's quite a, a jock. He's one of those annoying comics who can do sport yes. and stuff yes, and I think he he's quite used to being high status I mean luckily he's very affable as well so he doesn't lose it mm -hmm. too, too much too um, much no <laughs> although it's so enjoyable when he does but yeah you I think it they're just all... happening under the surface sometimes with you the, where... and that's what's so enjoyable and occasionally him and Noel have a real like silver backs having a bit of a, <laughs> a yes tussle. they do I mean it happens it happens on this episode yeah uh, with the with the bread task um, where Hugh challenges Noel to a race and Noel says we've just had one. <laughs> so good. And I really think that that thing comes from Hugh like almost as a child, you know, that sort of like, yeah. have a, let's have a race then. I feel like that was a real instinctive thing that he's been saying since you he can, was four or whatever. You can imagine Hugh at boarding school saying oh, that. Oh, um, yeah, totally. I don't know if Hugh went to boarding school, by the way, but... Um, We're saying he did. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's it's such a it's such a great cast. And I think it often not gets forgotten about, but I think series five is obviously another stone cold classic. And I think a lot yeah. more people came to Taskmaster in series five. So a lot of people yeah. feel like it's their, it's their series. Uh, and series four was very much laid all the groundwork and it's such a good cast. And they're all it's so, so good. All so and brilliant. It's, it's the first series that has more than one woman. Yes. Which it, it, and, it, and I think that that's really great for a number of reasons, but one of them is that the woman doesn't have to be, representative of all women you know yeah i mean the tasks the tasks are hard enough already 
uh, without yeah. having to ca- <laughs> carry, the, carry the weight of your entire gender on your shoulders. <laughs> yeah, and the idea that either of those two maniacs uh, represents <laughs> all of women is really, really wrong. They represent very sort of specific sections of <laughs> really specific. I mean, Mel, Mel, very much leading the the Mel's. Uh, there's about. <laughs> And I'm sure there's about four or other in the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, Mel's delightful. I was really thinking about this the other day about my favourite ever contestants, and I think Mel might She's be might there. be my favourite. She's got it all. It's yeah. because she, yeah, it's because she brings you into. She just expects to bring you into her world, like her immediately talking yeah. about. F- Philip Pennyfield, which we'll be talking about in a second. She's just like, she's just so enthusiastic. And then when people do rip her to shreds, she just finds it hilarious, which is the thing. She, she never it. loses it. She, she's like, oh, no, you're right. That is shit and hilarious. Yeah. yeah. But also, and... it's like if she if you said to her, the task is to cover yourself in jam and get into a coffin of wasps, she'd be yeah. like, excellent, excellent. Great. Come on, gang. Great. Yeah. You know, it's such a special thing. Yeah, gang is such a lovely, a lovely catchphrase. Yeah. Um, also, she there's a moment right at the beginning of this episode, I think, where Greg's being really mean to Alex about the stars on his thing, on his name badge. Yeah. Uh, and the only one really laughing is Mel, just cackling, <laughs> just this evil cackle. Yeah, exactly. She's got an edge. Yeah, she's oh, definitely she's got, got an edge. edge. Which, I mean, we saw in the last episode with the with the inflatable balls. She can get angry if she's yes. pushed there. Yeah, uh, but most of the time she is absolutely. She's delightful. just having the time of her life. She, she just really knows is. how to enjoy herself. <laughs> she really is. Um, and what a career in terms of doing fun things. I think she's oh, someone God, who should yeah. be held up as an icon of just you know, Bake Off and Taskmaster. You can't really ask yeah, for much better than just that. Just constant. Really Although yeah. the way she attacks that cake in the other episode, it does make me think. There were some Bake Off demons, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I think that there was a moment where she was just staring at that cake going, another fucking cake. I'm so sick of looking at cakes and being nice about them. So let's talk about the prize task in this penultimate, penultimate episode of the series. Uh, it is best chair. Uh, of course, it is. It took us. I can't believe it's taken us four series to get to best chair. You would have thought episode two yeah, or three of series on. one, surely. It's all we talk about down the yeah. pub. <laughs> What's your favourite chair? Let's start with Desky Dennis um, because uh, he, throughout this series, has you know historically come last in the prize task, the yeah. one point, and it's always been immediate as soon as he said yes. the prize. Yes. Greg's always gone, well, I think we found our last place. Yeah. It doesn't happen this time. No, and I honestly, I've been thinking about it too much, obviously, and I honestly think something happened before the beginning of this show. Do you? (laughs) I feel like either... Hugh had told Greg he was having a really bad time at the moment. <laughs> or, or that he'd threatened to cut him. <laughs> because I couldn't understand. Like, it was such a sweet thing. Don't get me wrong. It's such a, such a lovely, oh, it's sweet lovely. thing. But it's absolutely the kind of thing that Greg would normally rip to shreds. And you 100%. do think, what's happened there? What's I've your theory? I've got no idea. Because, of course, yeah, it's exactly the sort of thing. On another day, you could have seen Greg going... Oh, that's very sweet. That's very nice, but not a chair. One point. <laughs> yeah, um, you've brought nothing in. So what you've brought in is nothing. That's yeah. what he brought in. Yeah, his He's own just brought shoulders. Himself in. No. Yeah. Um, I yeah. I, what's my theory? I don't think it's that he's told Greg beforehand that he's having a bad time at the moment. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't work on Greg. Actually, it wouldn't would work it? on. Or not, in, not once much, he was not, in the studio. Nah, no way. Yeah, not much works on Greg. <laughs> like, and I don't think it's a case of. I think sometimes with Taskmaster, people are like, well, maybe they game it a bit. You know, production will say, well, it would be really good yeah. if this person win this episode or this person gets five points here and ask Greg to do it. It, it doesn't, he, he just does, he yeah, does what again, he wants. That's he the whole joy yeah. of the show. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Um, I think maybe they just caught him in a good mood or he's feeling <laughs> quite sort of sentimental. Yeah. Maybe he'd had a good nap before the record or something. Yeah, or... maybe he'd had a child on his shoulders during the break or something. Exactly. It was like, actually, this is really special. Also, Greg is, you know, he's a sentimental guy. Yeah. He appreciates family. Uh, yeah. So maybe, I, but I don't know, this was just a day where he appreciated family more than tearing Hugh Dennis apart. <laughs> and One of those rare occasions. Yeah, yeah, very rare occasions. So it's fi- it was the five points. 
Five I, points without even thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, it's a sweet story, but I personally wouldn't have given it five no points, way. even if he was having no a bad time. No way. <laughs> um, although, a lot, I don't think this was the best lineup of prizes, actually. Uh, no. Knowles was, I mean, very on the nose. Um, yeah, but I mean, the thing is, he said it. So when he said about the coolness, and then he said David Bowie, and I was like, wow, if he's brought David Bowie's shoulders... <laughs> as a, that, that's going to be real. Nothing's yeah, beating that. Would that. Be, that would be so amazing. I was slightly disappointed by the yeah. chair. But also, here's my other problem with Knowles. Mm. That chair is too small for Greg, I think. Yeah. Like looking at it later, I was like, no, that's exactly what Greg was complaining about before, yeah. was having things that were, that too, were small. too small. I think because he's taken in by Knowles' cool. Yeah, he is. He's very taken in by Knowles' cool. Mm. I think he's charmed by Noel. But also, I would say a lot of people forgot about the fact it had to be for. Greg, I think that's yeah. what people think uh, forget about sometimes, and it's best chair. That might be coolest best chair. chair, yeah. But it isn't. I don't want to sit on that chair. No, but then it didn't say best chair to sit on, did it? Well, what's a chair, Margaret? <laughs> what is a chair? I've a heard chair this is argument. for sitting on, right? <laughs> that, um, yeah, okay, for someone so, to sit on. But also, I was thinking about this. There's a weird thing in the prize task where we're all we uh, the the comedy community is appealing yeah. <laughs> to Greg, right? And Greg is the only person who will never take those home. No. So it's a bit weird that it's very it's to his very very specific tastes, isn't it? Yes. And then it should be a more socialist. Uh, we should be appealing to everyone. Lolly can't take that bean bag home. She's you know it would fill up her no. whole little nest. It would fill up her little nest. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm assuming sure she, she lives in a nest. <laughs> I'm sure she lives in a big nest now. She's in a, yeah, maybe she's an LA star. Yeah, this. exactly. <laughs> You don't do you don't do all those TV shows in the US and still live in a little no, nest. No, all right. <laughs> um, but I thought lollies. If you're if you're strictly speaking about what Greg judges to yep. be the best chair, that is so up Greg Street. Absolutely. He made a little noise when he saw it. <laughs> oh well, when he heard the dimensions. Yeah. That, is it? You know, he did yeah. his proper high pitched. Yeah, shit. of course. He, yeah, massive beanbag. That's so up his street. Because you can just but, imagine him flopping down. I mean, he wouldn't be able yeah. to get back up, but he, he'd, be, he'd flop <laughs> Someone down Someone would have to it. tip him back up. Yeah. yeah. He um, but then she did. She made the mistake of uh, querying something he said, which I oh, always really enjoy. Yeah. Because yeah. she was going to go in second, right? Yeah. And then he. Uh, oh yeah, that's always so heartbreaking. Good. Yeah. Heartbreaking. Um, but I thought, yeah, I thought the beanbag was pretty strong actually. Um. Joe's should have won if he'd followed through on it. So it was a sculpture yeah. of a of a chair in the shape of Greg's head. It really didn't look like Greg's head, obviously, <laughs> but the, just the fact he said it was Greg's head was funny enough for me. Really funny. And yeah. if it was an actual chair that he'd had made. It would have been incredible, yeah. yeah and but I was been, thinking yeah. the other thing he could have done is to have made a tiny Greg, I know that's that's an oxymoron, to, yes. to fit in the chair. To fit in the chair, to and demonstrate so, and then, Yeah, it. exactly. And if he'd had yeah. that, if he'd had a little... Philip Pennyfield style toy <laughs> to yeah. sit in that chair. Maybe Pennyfield himself. We never saw Pennyfield. <laughs> no, so maybe I... Pennyfield looks like Greg. <laughs> God, that would be a major twist. Yeah. I just let's talk about Philip Pennyfield because I think you enjoyed it as <laughs> much as length. me. Length. Oh my God, loved uh, it. Just loved those little glimpses into Mel's life and Mel's backstory, and that when she was a little girl, she had a doll's house, and one of the dolls was called Philip, Philip Pennyfield. Pennyfield, and there was a full family of Pennyfields. And also, yeah. I reckon she was one of those kids. She was maybe fifteen when she stopped playing with that doll's yeah. house. Almost like the idea certainly. that she's still got it. She's yeah. definitely still got it. She's definitely tempted. To and go poor and old, play with the poor old Philip Pennyfield as well, the only one without metal <laughs> legs. So <laughs> floppy, floppy old Philip Pennyfield. <laughs> so sad. Just made of cotton. But she really, her appeal is so good. It's such yeah. a. I mean, if I was, if I was Greg, I'd be like, no, that's yeah, that's getting number one. But what Mel should have worked out is the Philip Pennyfield thing and the way she presented it was creepy in the same way <laughs> that the peas were. Do you remember the peas that she yes. presented? Where she did the voices and Greg absolutely hated that. <laughs> so she should have, when the peas happened, she should have been like, well, I better re look okay. at my Philip Pennyfield. Rejig the old Pennyfield pitch. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one point, I th maybe unfair, but uh, if we take him best chair to mean Greg can sit in it, that is the worst one, definitely. It is. But also, I mean, there is an argument to say, because you just said it's to sit on, right? Mm. A seat is to sit on. A chair is very specifically. A chair, no? So a beanbag isn't a chair. That's true, yeah. So in that way, and Hugh's shoulders are definitely not a chair. 
So, so Noel's the only one who's chal- brought in a chair, really. Yeah. Well, um, Philip Pennyfield's chair is definitely a chair. It's just yeah, it, well, yeah, small. I suppose so. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I'd have been arg- yeah. I'd have been arguing. I'd have been arguing yeah. whatever I'd brought in. I think. <laughs> I think it was <laughs> one point blocks. because it was just so creepy. I mean, it's always fun yeah. to have an argument. You're right. W- yeah. Whatever it is, you've got to get involved. St- Stand by it and get involved. <laughs> I think it's a very cute chair, but you have to bear in mind that you knew that I was going to be the person who would be impressed or not impressed by a chair. What could I fit on that chair? I'll tell you what, one of my testicles melt. <laughs> Task one, stand on one leg, then continue reading. I hate that they got them with that. Um, oh, your raised awful. foot must not touch the ground until the, the task is complete. Bring Alex's dinner. Every time your raised foot touches the ground, you must eat a slice of Alex's dinner. Most dinner delivered fastest wins. You get a five-second penalty of every slice of Alex's dinner you eat. Your time starts now. So hard, because what you want to do is think of some logical way of doing it, like put a skateboard beneath the the, the foot or put a bag on it so it's not touching the ground. But because it's timed, you really don't don't have the luxury of working that out. Exactly. So I was really, th- I was really wondering about the scissors, you know, mm. the, the the question of scissors. Yeah. Um, and I did love the fact that this was his twelfth time using a blade oh, <laughs> in this series. He's got a real. I I have a weird thing with with my teeth, whereas if, where if I can't do something immediately, I'll just yeah. want to to bite into it. Just <laughs> sort of go. I'm going to fix this with my. You know, I went camping recently, and I was just like, just everything that didn't work. I just just take bottles. You know, oh, amazing. get get your, get your teeth in. I don't then think I would have loved to. Have, the I love to have seen you in this task, then, Margaret. <laughs> trying, just to trying to bite to bunting. bunting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whilst also presumably with a mouthful of bread, trying to bite your way through some bunting. <laughs> yeah, vomiting the bread up. Um, I so think no, I think I would have just hopped, gone for it. Sure. Yeah. But just run, try to run through the bunting and take it oh, all with me as I went. Oh, that's an idea. Because it doesn't say you have to go round it. No, or... and it's uh, how come Noel was so fast? He did go round it though, didn't he? He went round it, under it. He was all like, yeah, just he perfect. was all over was, it. He was more I mean... stable on one leg than he is on two. <laughs> yeah. In his cowboy fucking boot. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I'm turning against Noel. The point where he says in, <laughs> the, point where he says in the studio, oh, I just started it and it turned out it was yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> it's like your parents loved you too much as a kid. Like, I don't understand this level of confidence and ability on every scale. It's so unfair. He has I... that level of sporting confidence yes. that, um, that Russell Howard has in Series yeah. 6, where it's just very free. Can and do all like, of it. Has yes. a crack and it works out well. Yeah. Yeah. He's, um, because he sort of did the same as uh, the hop and gobble. He just didn't have to do any gobbling. Yeah. It was just I mean, hot. I think I'm a bit deluded in that I would um, think I could, I think I could do what Noel did, just mm-hmm. turn out to yeah. be really good. At, but it's my yoga versus my clumsiness. That's the, right. that's the trouble. No one spilt any milk. No. I think that's Everyone really did odd. Pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. I'd imagine they were quite annoyed when no one spilled any milk. Yes. Um, I think, yeah, I would not have been confident in doing this, but I would have thought just Hop smash and, and grab. Right. Just, just gone. Hopped through. I'd taken love to have of, seen you sprung all of the back the bunting though. with me. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I think I... it was just attached to cones, wasn't it, and stuff. No. So I think you could have taken it with you. No, wasn't it nailed? Some of it was nailed to the shed, no? Yeah, well, I'm taking the shed with me. Take I don't the... care. <laughs> I, I believe you. You're like the Hulk when it comes to that. Yeah. Also, as a type 1 diabetic, it would have been a nightmare every time my foot touched the ground. So I think I would have just yes. had to have really tried to get there without without eating the bread. Because otherwise well, it would have been a big insulin injection afterwards. Yeah, no, and you could really have played on that. Mm. Got got a load of sympathy. Oh, I would have Immediately. Done. I mean, it, it's sort of tempting to lie on the ground and shimmy along. Because do you know what? Like the food worm. didn't... Yeah, yeah, do the worm. <laughs> Do you, because your foot definitely, you know, you'd be able to shimmy along without touching your foot on, because it was, is that, no? I yeah. mean, you know, no, you the food done. can touch the floor as well. You could drag the tray along. Yeah, you could, or, how's this? It says, bring Alex's dinner, I guess. Yeah. Most dinner delivered fastest wins. I was just, what about... <gasps> Chuck it at him. Th- Chuck <laughs> That's what you want to see. Ball up the oh bread my God. and wet it with the milk. Put it in the milk, just, yeah. Then, Jam yeah, it into the glass. Throw it, yeah. <laughs> just hoy it at Alex. If only someone had done that. There's no yeah. time. I, we've only thought about that now, having seen, <laughs> yes. having seen the task, like, you know, a day ago. <laughs> I watched this yesterday, and now I've thought of it. So, 
Yeah, that is a shame, though. Do, would you have thought to not eat until the end? I thought that was clever. No, I thought that and was I genius. And I would have. I hoped I would have thought of that, but I possibly. I thought wouldn't. that was great from Lolly. Um, I mean, it's a shame because she was still the slowest anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, so and it, it was really horrible watching difference. her eat that. It was. Oh God, yeah. Distressing. Six slices of bread after. Because it's all just bread. It's just horrible bread and margarine yeah. or something. Yeah, it just it didn't look. Good artisanal did it look exactly really <laughs> shit do or you think alex <laughs> artisanal um do, do you think alex does have that for lunch yes 100 yes. <laughs> percent. he doesn't like food waste and we've seen him eat a lot of horrible yeah, exactly. horrible things also yeah i can't really know what alex eats but <laughs> i'd imagine it's quite plain <laughs> um no poor lolly uh, it was a really good technique but it, it didn't quite pay off no uh, Mel and Joe just sort of went for it, which I think is what they wanted. They were pushing yeah. into just going for it because it was it was timed. Um, yeah, but Hugh they just didn't. obviously grabbed the blade, and it was impressive. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? It did look yeah. cool. Yeah, but just no one, no one's Saffing beating Noel. No, no, exactly. If you can just do it straight away because yeah. you, you're magically athletic. But it was um, incredible. It was just one leg, and he like went under. One of the bits yeah. of bunting, just on one leg, but had perfect balance as he went yes. under. It was just popped In back up and then boot. off he hopped. Just, yeah. yeah. Marvellous. Yeah, wrong, wrong and marvellous. You say wrong, <laughs> I say sexy. <laughs> so, I mean, sexy is wrong. Yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah. A, I'm a Catholic, yeah. you have to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you learn to hop like that? I, I don't think I've ever tried. It was just something that, as I was doing it, I thought, oh, yeah, I'm good at this. <laughs> Better even than an old scissor boy. Hey, do you want a race later? <laughs> Just that <add> one. <laughs> <laughs> task two. Oh, th now this, I forget about this task every time. Oh my and god, then when I watch so it, good. I'm so, I'm so happy best. to watch this every time. Yeah. Hide from Alex. Alex is in the caravan. He has already started counting to 100. Just yeah. so sheer panic straight away. I would have fucking yeah. lost oh, my mind. That. He has already started counting. I, I yeah. honestly had a little gasp. It, like, you know, this was the second time I'd seen it. <gasps> God, I, and I would have been like, well, how fast is he counting? Yeah. I don't, you know, how long has he been? When did I last see him? Is he already? I would have been in absolute. Because if it was a, he's, he's going to start counting now. I might have tried to do that clever thing of getting really, really super close to him, which I think Noel was trying to do. I think that was what he was aiming at, yeah. And then when Alex goes, uh, you know, you go back, the trick is to go back into exactly where he was. Yes, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And that, that would be my trick. But with him already counting, I am just panicking. Sheer panic. Um, I'll tell you what I thought of, I, that I thought I would do the first time I saw this and yep. I thought of it again. So I think this is genuinely what I would have done. It doesn't say you have to hide within the Taskmaster <gasps> complex. <gasps> You'd have I gone to a cab. Straight out <laughs> the gate. To, gone to Al Murray's house. There's a, well, if, <laughs> if I had direct contact with Al Murray, be, yeah, straight in his house. There's a pub, there's a pub across the river called The Ship, uh, which is a very nice oh pub. Oh, my God. Uh, and I would, have ru I would have run to The Ship immediately. Wow, I wonder. And then got a pint and waited for them to find me. Oh, my God, I wonder. Because it doesn't say on the grounds, does it? It's just, it's no. just hide and seek. I wonder if they were guided away from that because I'm sure someone thought of that. But I can just I run away before they had a chance to tell me. I would have been out that gate. Yeah, that's really, really good. I, I am quite good. I mean, I haven't done it for a while, but I'm quite good at hide and seek. My best what a one was. Um, an adult. I know, I know. That's, this is what I'm left with. Um, I once got into a bin liner as a kid and, and and just sat next to the bins like holding the the top of the that's bin that's great and close. so it was dangerous so good yes yeah, so dangerous. i mean i didn't tie it up because i'm a very good girl yeah. <laughs> but i just held it shut but and it was absolutely brilliant i could have been, couldn't have been more pleased with myself except i wasn't the most popular member of my family and they all just forgot about me oh, um, no. Until <laughs> so eventually day. i just sort of yeah, until the, day, until the machines came for me no i just sort of like got out of it and wandered back and they were like oh hello. Yeah. oh Oh, oh, we forgot about you. Oh, and I was God. so like, I really wanted the reveal, you know, yeah. of jumping out That's of that. That's a big reveal. Yeah. I, I tell you what I used to do in hide and seek, and it's worked for me a few times when I was a kid. If you, people don't tend to look up. They oh. just look ahead. So what I used to do was stand on our kitchen work surface. Oh my God. And occasionally people would literally That's come really in. really mad. 
come in, like look around the whole kitchen, and then just go out. Not because, notice you know, the legs. You'd just be stood. The, the legs would be there. And That's they so work good. Up. That's yeah. so good. So what so could you do that, in the Taskmaster house that if, you, if, kitchen, you were, if they did say don't go to the pub, please, please. Yeah, yeah. I guess pub. the kitchen work surface or. Yeah. I mean, my other thought was maybe, but I think Alex would hear it and it would be so obvious is to try and get on the roof of the caravan. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. I mean, the, the, yeah, the trouble is he would turn around he'd immediately. Hear, he'd definitely hear that. Well, um, Ed, he'd feel you get to Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's just like, <laughs> He's <caravan>. shaking. <laughs> oh, these birds are noisier than usual. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not known for my uh, sort of deafness, <laughs> deafness of touch. Um, I mean, there's so many classic moments here. Noel getting, oh, God. Noel getting caught straight away is so funny. So, so funny. I was like, well, Noel, why don't you just climb into the fruit bowl? You know, you're the banana. Yeah, surely. of course. Yeah, that was allowed. So why can't you do that? Exactly, again, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, the man in the yellow boiler suit is yeah, yeah. there's no chance. The, and I saw what time. he was doing. Yeah. Clear, yeah. And I really love the thought of Alex just like first of all going, Well, that can't be Oh no, it is. <laughs> it's so, so it good. Is. Yeah, it's great. Um Hugh and Joe both got exactly the same time, which is crazy. Yeah, really weird. Yeah. And both both screwed it up in sort of slightly unique ways. Um, yeah, I really understand Joe just running. I really, running. <laughs> literally running scared. Yeah, because <laughs> you do feel so worried playing something like hide and seek. Yeah, exactly. The adrenaline is, is huge. It's just yeah. good that he didn't run into the road or something. Yeah. <laughs> Very dangerous. <laughs> um, and Hugh, that, that he was just stood in the room. <laughs> oh, I, I know. And I really wish they'd had a different angle on that because it was yeah. really, really funny. But I'd have loved to have seen it. From like see the full two shot of, <laughs> of Alex just because they so both good. found it so funny. Yeah. It's, it's, it is really funny to walk to be trying to look for someone and they're just in the middle of a big room. Yeah, it's just so funny. This is one of those ones where if I, if I was doing it and got found very quickly, I'd be kicking myself for days. Yeah. just like oh, I can't believe. Yeah, I'd be that too up. angry to yeah. find it that funny. But I then think. you watch it back and you're like. It is funny when it goes badly. It's funny. Um, it is, is funny. Memorable. There's always that. That's the Taskmaster way. And talking of going badly. Yeah. <laughs> it couldn't have gone much worse <laughs> for Alex when he was looking for Mel. I mean, I was looking at it. So after the drive-by groping. Yeah. I, I mean, also, and I was confused by the fact she said it was both of her boobs and the Philip Pennyfield dairy. And it's like, how did you manage that? I'm not They're sure. They're not that close a, together. Surely not. That I I don't <laughs> think he touched the Philip Pennyfield area. I think she just realised <laughs> it was an opportunity to, to refer to, say that. Yeah, to yeah, her yeah. nethers as the Philip Pennyfield area. Um, but the so boob just... funny. It's the worst possible thing yeah. to happen to him. Especially we know he has so much respect for Mel as well. Like he's got his, you know, his tie on and, and whatever. Um, and, and he's done... That it's so so funny, and also so she good. backs away. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but she slightly moves away from him, like he's he's got a taste for it, and he might do it again. <laughs> well, now you know you start to you you start to wonder why he was putting the ties on. Is that? <laughs> oh, it's it's the long game. It's yeah, sort of trying to the, seduce her. The very long game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so funny because he's so he's so uncomfortable with anything like that anyway. And then when yeah. that happened, it was just like great. You can tell he's actually mortified. Of yeah, course the he actual, is. yeah, the actual. Yeah, the actual fear in his eyes. Yeah. So he said, "Be <laughs> two days afterwards." Yeah. Um, and she did pretty well, Mel. She got to two minutes thirty-four. Um, but yeah. just none of none of it compares <laughs> to Lolly. Who oh hid in a shower cub- cubicle for twenty three <laughs> minutes? And again, I wanted to see another angle. I wanted to see where the hell she was because it looked like she was in on a shelf or something. Yeah, <laughs> like, I think... don't understand. So you know that room? Yeah, but I, Can know, you I, picture I, where I don't know she if was. the shower cubicle is still in there. So it's in right. the lab, right? It's in the little corridor. Oh, a, oh okay. When you go into the lab before the plastic sheeting, there's a little corridor where you go through, and there's like a little storage cupboard. But I guess that's where the shower is or was. Um, yeah. So she found her way in there. And it, what was so great about Lolly's was the, the trolling. She clearly got to about yeah. 15 minutes in and she was like, I'm going to start. I'm bored now. Yeah. <laughs> bored now. I'm going to call Alex. I'm going to text him a picture of me on a beach. I'm going to text him a picture of me as a baby. <laughs> so good. It's just genius. It's, I think it's Lolly's best moment 
on yeah, the series, absolutely. Just this sort of relaxed taunting of Alex. Yeah, and, and so good. And you know how, like, because Alex has the upper hand so much in Taskmaster that it's so good to see him genuine. You know, when he's looking in the yeah. garden and he goes right round again, you can yeah. see that he's genuinely getting pissed off. I don't know what time yeah. of the day that was, but he's yeah. sort of going, I, I want to go home or yes. I want to have my lunch, whatever yeah. it was. He's genuinely got to the point where he's like, no, I'm, I am pissed off with this now. He says it's over, doesn't he? At one point he sort of says, yeah. oh, it's gay lolly, we've stopped. He, and that's yeah, a real I mean, that's a real trick in hiding. He doesn't seek, like it. it it's very do. rare yeah. with Alex where he has to do something like that. And he so in our series, the I think one of the first tasks we filmed was hiding the aubergines, and it was the first one yes. they showed definitely. Um, oh yes, because you did brilliantly in that, didn't you? He, got he was ve- he was yeah, going really properly flustered, vexed, <laughs> which is what you want. Uh, yeah, but, it really is. Also, a little point about lollies that really made me laugh. In the beginning where she's got the GoPro on and she's running around looking for places to hide, there's a moment where she goes to open the dishwasher that made me laugh so much. <laughs> Just imagine her in the dishwasher. <laughs> but she is because she's little. Yeah, she, she has she got more options. She's like, she is, yeah. I, it's exactly the sort of thing that I do. Like, can I? Can I? It's probably yeah. dangerous. Is it worth it? <laughs> No, because I really, good. I was wondering, you know, he opens that tiny drawer and that made me really laugh yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I was wondering at what point he was doing that. Was it before he actually got angry? <laughs> was yeah. it, you know, was it days later? Go, let's do that. He should have opened all of them, really. Yeah, but, um... could have been in one of them. Um, <laughs> but it was the well-deserved five points for Lolly. Yeah. Uh, four points Bravo. for Mel. Mel really should have got an extra bonus point. <laughs> Really, shouldn't she? For the harassment. Yeah, just for, you know, to pay her off some sort of settlement. Um, <laughs> and uh, Hugh and Joe both got three points. Amazing that Hugh managed to get three points for standing in a room and for step, Alex for just walking run in. And giggling. Yeah, and giggling <laughs> away. Um, and Noel, well-deserved one point, 16 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Um, I mean, to be fair to him, he clearly was fine with it. You know, oh, he's, he's yeah. genuinely like, yeah, it's funny. It was enjoyable. You yeah, know. yeah, he's fine. I think there's only a couple of times on the series where he's been frustrated about a result. Yeah. And most of the time, it's just like, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. He's even good at being a human. Ugh. <laughs> Sickening. <laughs> Lolly! We're finished! Calling. Hi, Lolly. It's quite noisy here. It doesn't sound noisy. It doesn't there's, sound there's noisy, Lolly. Quite a lot of people here. Put someone else on then, Lolly. Okay, one second. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, task three. I think it's the final team task of the series. Uh, get this wheelie bin across the oh. finish line. One of you must be in the wheelie bin at all times. The other person slash people must be blindfolded at all times. The wheelie bin rider must direct the wheelie bin driver or drivers to complete the course and the five challenges within it. Also, no one can speak English. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. This is the one I think of when someone says to me, Series 4 team task. It's absolutely this one. It's so... Mainly I had completely forgotten Hugh. about it. But yeah. Mel and Hugh, I would honestly commission a sitcom of yeah. that, of the sort of... A French language sitcom. This French, yeah, yeah. Written, like, t- to be shown to English people. Oh, yeah, uh, of course, yeah. But this sort of, um, you know, she's this, like, quite quite sexy, articulate French woman who just happens to be in a bin with her sort yeah. of mute, <laughs> recalcitrant husband. <laughs> that she makes wear a blindfold yeah, for some called reason. Oog. I, I mean, I, I completely lost it watching this. And my One of my favourite bits is her... Um, starting to talk about a basketball film <laughs> to try and describe a high five. Uh, 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 super cool uh, basketball. Cool. It's like, what are you do? <laughs> what are you doing? And then you know you sort of see the way Lolly deals with it, which is just to grab them and yeah. force them to, and go. Oh, that's obviously the way. And so she's doing a yeah, monologue. <laughs> yeah, she got it. so trapped up in the language thing. She, uh, yeah. <laughs> And he's just sort of, of taking it. I, I, I think he could understand maybe a third of what she was saying, but was just yeah. quite a happily, um, yeah, they got doing on with what it. he could. And I thought they were good. Um, Joe, Lolly and Noel uh, chose German, so I'm presuming Lolly could yeah, speak German. Yeah, I mean, I'm so impressed. But Joe seemed to understand it as well. I was really yeah. amazed that There were some really good moments both... there. <clears throat> yeah. Here's my issue. I don't know if you picked up on the same thing. They got three points because they did it yeah. six minutes three. Now... 
The task says no one can speak English. Noel <gasps> clearly speaks English on a couple of occasions. Yes, I think maybe even Joe. I think Joe does as well. S- yeah, said a few words. You're right. And I, you, you know that thing of this series doesn't have the angry guy yeah. in it. And I wonder whether things like that slightly overlooked. Yeah, they don't. They're slide. fine. Of course they're just they having a nice time. I would have gone, I would have gone absolutely <laughs> apeshit about that. They clearly speak You would have counted the case. words, yeah. the English yeah. words they had and yeah. fired it back at them. Oh, I was livid. Yeah. I was livid no, about you're that. Right. They shouldn't have got it. Lolly did an amazing job there. I thought she was really good. Yeah, really impressive. The... Patient Sh- as well. Schnell, schnell. <laughs> Which I think I... means faster, faster, doesn't it? Rather Does it? Just Rather using than it as forwards? A... I think so. they so. created yeah, maybe, their own... Yeah. No, it, yeah, I had no idea. does it idea, mean forwards? It? I mean, I don't know. She w- Well, she was definitely using it as forwards because wasn't she going nein schnell? <laughs> nein schnell. For backwards. It's... Quickly it is, quickly. Okay. But yeah, they, they understood what she was saying anyway. Well, Noel didn't. I think Noel understood any of what... I mean, I he was well, just... Well, they got I the Schnell. The dis- yeah. yeah, it was uh, encouraging. I yeah. got... Um, yeah, the, his, the description of him as a pissed skeleton. Yeah. That's exactly what he was. I think Noel is the one time that you really see... Like, I don't think he's good at the team tasks. I don't think that's where no, he, he takes thrives. Seat, he? Yeah, yeah, he's just like... He's a bit confused. And actually, he does look a bit old. You know, in the beginning of it, would they say the kids and... Noel and yeah. and I think you can see Noel like, like look cross his eyes yeah, totally. like, oh no I you know you can totally feel all of his 40 something years it's just <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to be pushing a bin around <laughs> Fair enough. these kids yeah yeah Fair enough. I'm with um, him. But they got three points. However, you know, they should have got no points because they spoke yeah. English. Yeah. Um, or had some Mel removed Hugh, anyway. Yeah. Well, Mel and Hugh just so good at that. I thought they Nailed deserved it. way more than, you're right, way more you're than right. two points. Um, it made me laugh a lot. I mean, I don't know what you would have done, but I mean, I I would have hoped to have been on a team with someone else who knew about the language. Um, I would have done. I, a non- I would have just done like a nonsense language. Yeah, well, I enjoyed them describing popping the balloon. And yeah, they're just like boof. You know, I think yeah. you would have ended up doing that. I'm surprised that they didn't speak more of a combination of of yeah. languages. You know, I feel like it would have been a mangled. I'd yeah. have had a bit of everything in there if it was me yes yeah just, just trying a, a, to anything that wasn't english yeah i would have just done like caveman noises <laughs> oh no oh <laughs> there's a lot a gauche s'il vous plaît comme ça très très bon et maintenant uh, oh arrête s'il vous plaît oui <laughs> tu dois faire le pouf bouf tu dois faire le bouf pouf <laughs> à la ballon oui il faut burster le ballon oui Hugues. So, task four. Uh, unveil a new handshake. Best new handshake wins. You have five minutes to develop your new handshake, then three minutes to demonstrate your new handshake with Alex. Your time starts now. Um, I mean, having had Lolly's best moment in the series earlier, yeah. personally, for me, this is Joe. This is Joe's best moment. Oh, my God. It's Joe's handshake. amazing. <laughs> He just, because I don't think he's doing it to torment Alex. That is no. just a sort of bonus for yeah. it. He's just decided this is what he's he's going for. He's just drawn to it. I think he's very instinctive. He's an instinctive player. It is. Uh, it's very Joe. Joe. It's very Joe Lysett. Yeah. Like very charming, uh, but very odd. <laughs> Sinister. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, because, because I was thinking it's not just the physical contact, it's the intense eye contact with Alex. And you can <laughs> see Alex like losing, when he says, when he says, I love you, what's Alex say? I think he says, thank you or something. And you can just hear him going, I'm not, I don't want to do this. And he's adding stuff but to it as he goes along. he's made it, yeah. So you say, I love you back. You know, it's going, this is just pure bullying. Yeah, and, the, and my, it, my favourite bit is the... He starts doing it faster and Alex says, you're doing it faster. He goes, yeah, it gets faster as the three minutes goes on. <laughs> and then I think it's at that point Alex realises, oh my God, he is going to do this for the full three yeah. minutes. <laughs> because no one else has done that. It's um, so good. We see, it's, That's uh, Bernard, we see at the beginning of that task, the mannequin, uh, who yes, we of course meet again back. in series 10. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoy Bernard. I mean, I could watch uh, Mel manhandling Bernard and get, get sort of nearly breaking him and so sort of get, funny. again, happily watch a sitcom with Mel, Mel and Bernard as a, Mel, as a Mel couple and Bernard's trying to live their lives. Mel and Bernard's a great lives. sitcom. 
I like that with Bernard. I love it. Makes me laugh. It's like a live Simpsons joke where uh, the head and hands fall off at exactly the same time. <laughs> just yes. everything just all yes. collapses at once. It's so just good. Perfect. Do you know? Before we talk about the other handshakes, do you have any? Uh, what's your instincts? What sort of handshake would you have gone for? Well, I do. I think I would have taken my own family's handshake, uh, well, which this is. is... Great. I'm not going to try and describe it on a, on a podcast. Are you, allow- are you allowed to? Yeah, I think I am. I mean, okay. I say my my family, it's just my husband and kids. It doesn't go back generations. Oh, right. <laughs> Things I, so like I can't the family crest. Like I can't show up to a family <laughs> dinner and say I'm like an estranged <laughs> son or something. Uh, demand to be part of the inheritance because love, I know the handshake. <laughs> love to see you try it. They'd be happy. Um, Right, no, so it's a classic fist bump and explosion, right? Mm-hmm. Great. But But then... Um, your hand become your hand and forearm become like a sort of dying fish, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and it sort of hits against the table or whatever you've got there back yeah. and forth for a while, and then it slowly stops, and then it comes back up and says, "Avenge me," oh <laughs> and then collapses. And it's very very enjoyable. <laughs> so the hands, both your hands are possessed. In this one sense, only one they? of or... your ha- well no only one of them is the one that's doing the handshake so it's oh sorry I mean both you handshake. and the ha- and the other person doing the handshake yes yeah, so I always see it as the the hand and forearm becoming like a, a fish who needs to yeah. be avenged who but that's just my avenged. interpretation you know you'd well, have I to think... ask my kids what they think is going on <laughs> I think your interpretation is canon in this, in this thank uh, you instance. yeah no yes. I think it yeah, was yeah. Uh, um yeah. I. What would you have gone for? I would have pushed it too far as per. Uh, <laughs> I probably would have snogged Alex. <laughs> um, and would you have built up to that? Yeah. Like, would I the think... hand travel up the arm? <laughs> <laughs> no, I <laughs> to think. To the neck, up the, through the clothes. <laughs> I think it's even funnier to do a normal handshake and then snog. <laughs> Just a full snog. I say so. Hand, handshake, and then you pull them towards you and just yeah, yeah, yeah. full snog. Handshake, for the three minutes? Or... Oh. One hundred percent. Like you know, when the man the man kissed the old lady on the word, I'd do it like that. Like, oh really, my really god, licking on. around yeah. their face. Yeah, <laughs> delightful. He would yeah. not have forgiven you. <laughs> no, no, he'd be very happy that that wasn't a task that we had. The Noel one. What yeah. I enjoyed about that was that it was all right for Alex until he had to watch it until back, to watch which it. is yeah, a really genius. weird sort of torture. But yeah. that's the sort of thing that I imagine happens in Noel's house anyway. Like that's all of those things. They're yeah. just stuff he has. With that's how that's how he says kids. hello. If you go for yeah. a, for a meal or whatever, that's how you have to say hello. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, your... that's what you're greeted with. And um, I loved Alex saying he was used to being in the wheelbarrow and he liked it because yeah. I know that that's a joke, but also I bet it is sort of true now. Yeah, that's the way his life yeah. has gone. Yeah, <laughs> He's, he just spends a lot of time in a wheelbarrow. Mel and Hughes and Lolly sort of slightly more straightforward. <laughs> yeah, um, I did like Lolly's though, and I like I like how quickly she came up with it. Yes, so um, good, just bribery. Yeah, just twenty pound note chewing gum and a painkiller. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really nice touch. And the fact that was there immediately, she was like, "Don't need the time. Straight away, let's do it now." But also, uh, the genius bit of Lolly's is the way it turned into a kind of QVC thing at the end, where she turned around and said, "So there you have it." And I felt like it was a really <laughs> convincing way of going. That's the best handshake because yeah. you know it's like country file or something. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that I mean, and I feel like if she'd done that at the end of all of her tasks, that would have been brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Just turn to the camera, whatever, however badly you've done, and said, "So there you have it. The so perfect have example it. of a <laughs> cake description yeah, I would, or whatever." I would have I maybe slightly it. given her. The edge over yeah. Mel and Hugh. Yeah. Because you've all got three points. But then you yeah. don't want to, I don't want to give Mel and Hugh less than three points because. They they were still good. They were good. I they am. Good. That... Hughes was lovely. Hughes maybe was the worst, but. <laughs> yeah. But it was still enjoyable. I really liked this, the weird slapping. Yeah. Like they sort of, and you, I really felt like they, I, I was thinking if they practiced this, I bet the slaps were getting harder and that's why yeah, they yeah. were sort of laughing. It was a real sibling thing. Like, I don't know if you've ever had a fight with a sibling where, like, my sister and I used to end up pulling each other's hair and dragging it down to the floor. And then we'd just be like, well, we can't do anything. (laughs) We've both got each other's hair. It really hurts. Yeah. Yeah. We just count to three and then, and then drop it. That's the end of the fight. It felt a bit like that. Again. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. Hugh again, uh, showing how. Um, how flexible he is, even at, yes. uh, in his advanced years. You could only yeah. hear sort of minor sort of 
bone cracking as he he went around yeah yeah Yeah, Um, and I thought it was Greg's observation was brilliant that it really felt like it was in a sauna it really did seem seem like it was in a sauna there's something sort of weirdly because I always think that men are allowed to emotions which is angry and yeah. horny right and it yeah. felt like it was going from one to another so you've got the sort of slapping and it's going to go into you know if, yeah. if you were left to go further it would be full rogering well, there you by, go they, yeah, that, that, and that was my idea um <laughs> uh, my handshake would be I've, i'd have full sex with alex and then i'd say <laughs> so there we have it <laughs> should we see the last one yes please joe lyson yeah <laughs> this is joe put your hand out like that and then it's just a... <laughs> how, how long do we do it for? For the three minutes. <laughs> Eye contact, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Not that aggressive, but soft. It's quite soothing, isn't it? Mm. Quite far away from you. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You're getting quite fast. Yeah, that's, it gets faster as the three minutes goes on. <laughs> You're just looking at it now. Can I look at it? Shh. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. Then you have to sit back like that. I love you. Yeah, mm, that's it. I love you. I love you. Yeah, right, really build the speed up. <laughs> and that's it. So let's talk about the live task. A live task I had completely forgotten about. Yeah, yeah, um, same. Make the biggest and best all round banana. Out of these bananas, you have 100 seconds after which the taskmaster will judge your bananas. Very yeah. difficult to know what really to do. Really difficult, here. really difficult. But hot take. I thought they were all shit. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they really were. I don't think that take is as hot as you think it is. <laughs> Lukewarm take. Lu- yeah. <laughs> the only take. Shit. They were all shit. <laughs> yeah, people don't say the only take no, enough. The only they? take. The only uh, take. <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's really, it is really hard. Hard though. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I was thinking, I don't think I'd have come up with anything better than any of those except Noel obviously should have be- I mean he wasn't wearing his yellow boiler suit unfortunately because he problem, could have then yeah. become a banana become again a banana um yeah it, it was it was really it was really difficult uh yeah I, I liked it. Joe's I thought it was I see, you know but I thought that some... was a crazy decision to give him four points because he <laughs> did just tape a banana to a pillar <laughs> so I saw what he was doing he was you know riffing something out of nothing yeah but it didn't... I still thought that's a one point for me I mean, right, they were all yeah. a disaster, weren't they, really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I enjoy the pun banunting. I don't think that, that, that a five-year-old could have come up with that, <laughs> but it was, still, it was still shit. And actually, I, do you know what? I thought Hughes was um, undermarked because yeah. I thought that was that was a curved yellow yeah. sort of banana-looking thing that you could wear, so, you know. Yeah, it was, it was, was, it was on the nose, but I think that's what you needed to do. Yeah. What I would you potentially, have... Yeah, I potentially would have got them all like it would gone for width rather than length right and just taped up a huge load of bananas all together so it was like a big banana in width but oh okay yeah yeah tricky though mm-hmm. isn't it? yeah what well, and wrapped in the white gaffer tape or you just or i would have it? mashed up got all the banana out and mashed it up and shaped it into a banana <laughs> on the table i mean that's not a bad idea yeah not bad but it would have been seconds, different yeah yeah I would have ended up getting it in my mouth and spitting it on there though and stuff. It would have been horrible. Dangerous. Really, really nasty stuff. Yeah. Um, and it, so it was one point for Mel, two points for Noel, Hugh, po- Hugh points for three. Hugh points! <laughs> <laughs> three points for Hugh, four points for Joe and five points for Lolly. Meaning the final scores, it was Hugh, Joe and Lolly in joint first. Yes. With 20 points leading us to a lovely tie break task. Open up this jar of mayonnaise covered in Vaseline. The jar may not leave the lab. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Well, I think it's quite controversial. Because if Joe never opens the task... I mean, I felt like what he did was brilliant. But he should have then opened the task and 
And I think he did. It. I think he did. Did he? Okay. Yeah, I think he opens like it at the end. Left... Okay, all right. Yeah. I felt like he'd just left it. He'd just opened it. No, I think he sees what it. it is, but he had a go okay, that's at it all right, then. first. Yeah, okay. Which I thought was genius. So, so I think you've good. got to, you've got to give that to him. That yeah. is that is a classic, you know, you'd have that Nought on seconds your... is, that's quicker than I open normal mayonnaise. <laughs> And we all know how quick that is. Yeah. We've watched you. One second. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that, I mean, it's a, hor- it's a horrible task anyway. Yeah. Um, I always, I always want to see what everyone else does in those as well. Though. Yes. There's so much tie yeah, break, it was lost good. footage. Exactly, exactly. Because it, there's tie break when you don't often get to see three tie breaks. Yes. But yeah, you definitely want to see what the others did. Because I would argue that Hugh did not get that mayonnaise jar no. opened. He smashed it. Mm. That was no longer a mayonnaise jar by the end of it yeah but it was open mm. open the jar of mayonnaise yeah no, I see what you mean you it know then just yeah smashed up that's, yeah, yeah that open is... this open this window you it don't need to smash it up yeah chuck, <laughs> chuck a rock through it um, so uh, the episode belongs to Joe uh, congratulations yeah. Joe if you're listening <laughs> For winning that episode in well done, 2016 Joe. or 2017. So that leaves Noel on top uh, of the series, uh, as as he is for a lot of it. Um, yeah, but it's quite it's quite close though. It's 120 points for Joe, 116 points for Hugh, and then Mel and Lolly pretty much neck and neck, 113 and 112. Yeah, uh, we know how it ends, of course. Um, yeah, so nothing changes from now on, is that? No, I don't think so. Um, it's amazing, isn't it, that you can have a show where that happens and it doesn't, it doesn't distract matter. from the yeah. enjoyment in any way. It's just such a I perfect... think Hugh might... I think Hugh and Mel might switch. Might overtake... Right, Yeah, okay. I think Hugh and Mel switch. Um, but yeah, I mean, all in all, that's probably one of my favourite episodes of the series, I think. Yeah, chock full of classics. It really is. I mean, hiding... Uh, wheelie bins uh, handshake <laughs> that's banging isn't it? yeah that's images a... that have burned onto your yes, brain 100 yeah. percent, really good and your boobs and yeah. my boobs <laughs> <laughs> margaret thank you so much for coming back uh, onto the taskmaster podcast i'm sure we will call on you again for future series I'm like an emergency Taskmaster podcast. No, uh... no, not an emergency at <laughs> okay. all. Okay. Uh, uh, you're an emergency in the sense that you're like an ambulance that I'd call even if I just felt a bit sick. <laughs> Do you know, I've got a friend who's been driving an ambulance and they had a discussion recently about um, how, what was the, what's the worst reason you've been called out? Oh, God. And her boss said, oh, I was called out to a fucking nightmare once. <laughs> Someone, oh my god! Someone had a nightmare, and their partner rang the ambulance. What? And, got them to come out. and they were like, "Have you tried waking them up?" <laughs> <laughs> Did they just get told uh, it's an absolute nightmare over here? And they're like, okay, they can't specify. They, we just something's know it's a wrong. Nightmare. Something's wrong. <laughs> someone having a nightmare. Get a grip. Oh. Well, there you go. You'll be an ambulance if I have a nightmare. How's that? I, yeah, I'll be there. I'll see you tonight. Great. <laughs> um, of course, we, we uh, always ask our guests to rate their experience on the Taskmaster podcast between one and five points in the style of the Taskmaster. Margaret, I believe last time, I mean, I'm, I'm clutching at straws <laughs> you, here. I think you gave it five. Yeah, yeah. It's, a lead, it's a leading question, isn't mm. it? But uh, no, I'm going to give it five. Yes. I'll also take the point that Mel should have got as uh, restitution for her being <laughs> harassed boob, by Alex in the point. cupboard. Yeah, boob point. Thank you very much, okay. Margaret. Thank you, bye. There we are, another fun episode talking about the penultimate ep of Series 4 of Taskmaster. Thank you very much to Margaret for coming on. She was absolutely brilliant as per. We will have her back on again in the future. Next week, Series 4, Episode 8, the final episode of Series 4. We are going to be talking about that with the brilliant Jack Bernhardt. Uh, Jack's been on the show uh, before as well. He is now my official Taskmaster stats guy. Um, do go and follow Jack on Twitter uh, because since the last time he was on the Taskmaster podcast, he's really gone all in on the stats. It's crazy the amount of stats he's done. Uh, Seemingly, I mean, I'll talk to Jack about this. His main aim has been to try and find out a way of making sure James Acaster places above me somehow. And I don't think he's managed it yet. So I'm loving reading all of these stats. Uh, But for now, keep watching Taskmaster and all four. Uh, Go and pre-order the book buy tickets for my tour if you want uh just just look after yourselves we'll see you next week
the first question I've got is for Alex. And my question is... <laughs> did you accidentally feel Mel's boobs? <laughs> There was a dry there was a drive by both of them. <laughs> <laughs> and possibly in the Pennyfield area as well. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.